Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show with your hosts, Lee Silber and Ellen Goodwin. This podcast is short, fun, and jam-packed with good ideas that you can start using right away. And here's your host, Lee and Ellen. Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show. I'm your host, Ellen Goodwin, along with my co-host, Lee Silber, going back and forth. Wow, why are you doing that? To simulate commuting. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> That was a stretch. Okay, we're going to talk about commuting today. And maybe some of our listeners are commuting right now as they're listening to us. We have smart listeners then. We have really smart listeners because you can use your commute time to what? Well, I mean, that's the thing. It could be anything. It could be the time to just decompress. It could be the time to learn something new. It could be the time to flex your abs. That's right. (laughs) It's endless. There's all sorts of things. But you know what? Let's talk about Getting smarter. Yeah. Getting smarter while you're commuting. Because I know my go-to thing when I have to commute is if I don't pay attention, I mean, you know, if I'm listening, if I am paying attention to the traffic, I go crazy. But if I let my mind wander, if I listen to podcasts, if I listen to something that's educating me, I feel like that time isn't wasted. You know, and I mean, the obvious would be that you're in your car and you're listening to something that will enhance your life, make you better. And if you if, if you take it one, well, it's just one 30-minute drive. But times five days a week, times 50 weeks out of the year. Do I'm the math. Two weeks off. Yeah, that's a lot of classroom time. I thought you were going to tell me how many hours that was. I don't know because I, <laughs> I need to go. Let me, on my commute home, I will take a, a course in, in math. But the truth is it doesn't have to be that. You know, this is something that, you know, we always talk about how, multitasking got a bad rap there's good multitasking it shouldn't all be you right. know poo-pooed because let's say you decide that you and some people are going to you know carpool old school i know carpool wow you, but you know i mean sometimes just having someone there that you you know you would probably want to be with them after work or before work or on the weekends but you don't have the time but no. now you have the time and you're with them sometimes the best friend is the person that just listens to you and they're trapped in the car, so they can't go anywhere. So, of course, they're going to have to listen to you, and you get to just talk about whatever's on your mind, what's bothering you, and they're getting it out. I'm just saying there's many ways to use a commute. Absolutely. All, my message would be I'm not going to tell you what to do, but figure out a way to make that time. It doesn't even have to be productive time, but time well spent. There you go. I like that. Time well spent because we know we don't like the word productivity, even though that's what I do. The word it makes people have the heebie-jeebies. But so, I, I would say in, in maybe, it's hard to say, two years, five years, self-driving cars will make the commute even better for those oh, people yeah. that want to use it productively or as a way to decompress. Because if you have a stressful job and you take that home with you, you know, that's never good. Nobody benefits but, from but that. But a 30-minute of just relaxation, of, and I know driving isn't relaxing for everyone, but it yeah. is. But, you know, this was true of um, Steven Spielberg. Several people I respect and are, are smart said driving was when they got their best ideas. And when they were stuck, they'd go for a drive in L.A. traffic. Yeah. Because your left brain is busy making sure you don't crash, which allows right. your right brain, the side with all the ideas, to actually get a word in edgewise. Yeah. No, I love to take drives if I'm if I'm dealing with something you just drive and hopefully you know hopefully that left brain's all in charge yeah exactly i actually switched from uh, a standard regular manual shift to an Uh automatic and i thought is that a sign that i'm old and feeble or is it smart because it really was for me traffic when you have to keep shifting yeah is you can't do much else you're really focused on driving so I went with the automatic, and I mean, it's one of those, some people love to create drama in their life if there isn't anything. Right. They like to create problems that they can solve because they're bored. And a lot of people <laughs> drive a, uh, you know, a stick shift because it's exciting and it's involved, you know, it's, in, you know, depends on what kind of car. Do you put a stick shift in like a little tiny <laughs> economy car? I don't oh, know. Like that's a, a, yeah, it's got, there's got to be some... Some benefit as far as performance, <laughs> but but overall, I would say that for me, um, I have to take a lot of long drives, and uh-huh. um, and I bring, I do bring, I I bring books on tape, okay, because that's kind of the best best of both worlds. Are they it's, call them still books on tape. Okay, <laughs> fine. I'm gonna go look at a video to see if it has no, anything I know. No, but, but you know that's I mean. so funny. That's like one of those books on tape, and it's on a CD. I know. 
Um, I just I drive. Out. You know, I just, that was a question because I was just I never really thought of that books on tape. But no, why not for long drives? That's a great time. If there's a book that you have been wanting to read but you couldn't, just yeah, why hey, not? You know, you come home and. Um, I have two small children, and I want to be all in. Meaning, I don't want to be... I'm a cat's in the cradle guy. Right, right. Hey, hey Dad, you want to go play cats? Absolutely. Let's I'll, play now. But if you could get your phone calls that you need to make, want to mm. make, in during the commute, and then when you're home, you're all in. That's balance today. Balance is about... I'm 100% in when I'm doing something at work, and then I'm 100% in when I'm doing something. But just because they kind of blend together. It's like secondhand smoke. Right. It just floats around, you know? There's always something work-related when you're home and when you're at, at work. Sometimes the home-related things kind of mix mm-hmm. in. So when you could find a way to get the things that off your plate so that you could just be present. Right. Then you're doing something right. And that commute back and forth is a time to catch up on things that uh, they're not saying they're not important, making the calls to your mom. Oh, yeah. <gasps> I got to call my mom. You uh, better call your mom. I'll do it right now. <laughs> No, the commute is it's a mixed blessing because it is the it is the in between between, you know, your work, your home, and it can it could make or break your day. It really can because, you know, if if you just give in to the road rage and then you get home, that doesn't work. But you know, if you listen to a podcast, I I firmly believe the reason podcasts are so popular is because people figured out it's a great way to, to learn something or to hear something different than just listening to music all the time or talk, or talk radio, radio, which makes your brain explode. Yeah. It could. It can. Make your brain explode. Hopefully oh, we don't make your brain explode. <laughs> so enjoy your commute, those of you that are listening while we're talking. Hopefully we put a smile on your face and an idea in your head. Be with us again next week when we have another episode of the Faster, Easier, Better Show. 